Hello everyone and welcome to a weird edition of the weekly news updates for Jurassic World Evolution 2. You may have seen this video pop up already earlier today, but this is an edited version of that video. I made a promise to you guys 20 weeks ago that I would stay on top of things and keep you informed of everything. And as such, I included some information in the video from before that just wasn't cool towards Frontier. So I decided to delete that video and repost an edited version. I am really devoted to giving you guys all the information on all the hype for Jurassic World Evolution 2, but I feel like I just took part in spoiling someone's surprise birthday party and that was just really shitty of me. They didn't tell me to take it down, I offered as soon as I realized I was kind of being an a-hole. My first responsibility is always to you guys, but not at the cost of ruining a surprise that someone has been working hard on. I hope you can understand my decision and I hope you'll enjoy the video. Guys, it is the second to last weekly news update for Jurassic World Evolution 2. We have only 10 days to go until we can play the game. We are in the end game now. Hello everyone and welcome to your weekly news update for Jurassic World Evolution 2. If you've been enjoying the Jurassic World Evolution 2 content so far and you want more once the game launches, then subscribe to the channel and help us get to 69k in the meantime. Because... Of course. <laughs> this week we got the third Dev Diary and the monthly highlight stream for October, which I streamed live on the channel yesterday when they revealed a brand new Chaos Theory mode. More about that later. But first, this, however, is a leak free update of the species list. It was updated during yesterday's live stream with Archaeonithomimus and Euoplocephalus, and the Dev Diary on Wednesday added Tapajara. Tapajara? Tapajara? I don't know. Correct me down below. And I will remove the Dr. Wu hybrids from the list. Now, a summary of the news from Dev Diary number three. In the Dev Diary, we got a gorgeous look at the new Spinosaurus model. We saw a raptor do the second half of its new Houdini move. The maps are said to be bigger than anything we've seen in Jurassic World Evolution while showing this panning shot. After the initial hype, I'm a little confused as to where the border of the map is. Right now, for this gameplay, it's obviously here, but we know maps are expandable, so can we eventually build until here? It's, it's kind of unclear. If it's just the front section, I'm like, yeah, okay, I, I guess it's bigger than Nubron 1993 if you whip out the measuring tape, but the way the shot pans up, should suggest that there's more to it than that. Otherwise, it's just a really bad shot. I guess we'll see in 10 days. Germany is a newly revealed location, and Rexy looks great, as always. Yesterday's highlights livestream was, as always, a test of patience to sit through. I enjoy listening to the developers talk, I like how passionate they are about the game, and I understand that, for most of them at least, appearing on camera for tens of thousands of people is not their job, so that bit of awkwardness is... You know, whatever. But, of course, with the promise of new Chaos Theory mode gameplay, people were very impatient. The new mode they showed us was Jurassic Park Chaos Theory mode, and the what-if question was quite simple. What if you could just build the park and have it open successfully? So I guess I was pretty right with my prediction, which was, what if Nedry had never sabotaged the park? That amounts to the same thing. The same thing being... It's just a park build at the end of the day, but with a visitor center. I don't know, I was a little underwhelmed by the lack of story. We already knew from the San Diego Chaos Theory mode that there wouldn't be too much story interwoven into it, or, you know, really minimal. But I feel like the Jurassic Park Chaos Theory mode was, was even less than that. I mean, the only really exciting thing about the gameplay that we saw was the beautiful waterfall as the backdrop. Another thing that was a little bit irksome was the forced placement of some of the buildings that we remember from the tutorial part of Jurassic World Evolution 1. I'm not a big fan of it, especially since they said during the live stream that the actual tutorial section is once more in the campaign, so I feel like in this Chaos Theory mode we should have had total freedom. But thankfully it's only three buildings that need to be put in a certain place, and with the new Move Buildings option, we can probably relocate them later if we so desire. 
If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and become part of the OG 69K gang. We're going to do a funny video if we get to 69K before the game launches. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the anticipation. The new mode that... Blah, 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 blah. Don't judge me, bunny.